shot. And the problem people have at bunkers is they make too much, they make too much big of a deal out of these shots. They try and uh, help the ball out, the bunkers, they do all kinds of things. With the modern day clubs, it's so easy just to, to play these shots. I'm saying that, I'm make a mess of when I'm playing this shot, the one thing that I always try and do is I always try and just keep the club moving towards the target. Nothing else. If you have a rhythm in the bunker, the chances are you'll get it three quarter percent right. I'm playing a shot, but then I'll tell you what I'm trying to do with it. trying to do with this ball here I don't have to spin it because I have a nice uh, the reason why I'm talking like this to you at the bunker I'm trying to explain a shot we have here what you should be thinking of when you get into a bunker to play a shot like this we don't have a big lip on the bunker after the lip we have the grass that's pretty short and down to the flag, it's pretty flat. So you don't have to play anything fancy at all. All you have to do is pop the ball out of the bunker. You don't have to be aggressive. If you don't quite catch it, it's going to bounce on down to the flag. So the secret is, don't try and play anything real fancy. You can people to go in here now to show you a couple of examples. Watch this. How many have you seen this show? The guy gets over or the lady gets over. The grip of the thing, you can see the whites of the knuckles. It uh, must get this out. And as they're hitting it, they're trying to help it out to go. You see that shot there? That's the ball, bro. Yes, and I just know how you're here. That's what the lady is up to do, to find the ball. Very familiar. for show. We actually flex our knees and we waggle our feet in the bunker to try and gauge the depth of the sand that's in there. Because obviously we can't touch the sand. So when you see people going in like this, some people get in there and they do that, they don't know why they did it. You know, if you've seen it on television, it's good. It looks good, okay. But when I get in there, I do this and I have an idea the depth of the sand that's in there. Just an idea. Now sometimes you can be caught out. <coughs> Second thing I do is I make sure that I have an open stance. Because if I have an open stance, I want to take the club back on the outside. And what we're trying to do is basically we're trying to splash the sand like that. That's all we're trying to do. Splash the ball out. I try to explode it and we're trying to hit the club face right here on the back edge. We hit it on the front edge here, you make a mess. If you hit it here, the club will bounce. And when it bounces, you have the perfect shot. So we get into the bunker, check the sand, open stance, and we open the club face right up like this so we're going to bounce it and then all I'm thinking about is seeing the shot while I'm trying to play do I try and play it soft do I have a go at it 
So all these things, it all happens fairly quickly. Well, it's something that you need to be aware of, that you just don't get into a bunker and hit a shot. And I say to somebody, what were you trying to do there? Say, no idea, I was just trying to get out of the bunker. No good. Unless you can see a shot, whether it's from a yard, from here, 200 yards, it's very difficult to play. If you can see a shot, the chances are you might be able to do it, or you should be able to do it. You might do it as good as certain people, but at least you have a shot in your mind, and that's so important. And the, more important than that is don't make a big deal out of it. It's a shot. It's a game. So if you don't get it right, you go and you play the next one. But some people, they've made so much of the shot before they play it that they can't play it. It's just, it's too much for them. And you know, this game, there's certain things, if you make it, it's like anything in life. If it's too big, you can't handle it. So just relax, get it down into perspective, into some kind of a zone. Get in there, think about it, and just do it. And if it doesn't happen, so what? Do it again. But always, I say, when you play the shot, Tiger Woods is fantastic at it. When he walks off the tee and he's hit a terrible shot, by the time he's got off the tee, he's forgotten about it. Now, that's very hard to do. But there's no use thinking about something that you've done wrong. If it festers, I mean, you know yourself, you start off, you hit a bad shot on the first, you miss a little cut, and it sets the tone for the day. So you want to forget about that. Here, it's every shot is totally different. And the other thing, and we'll be we talking about that later. So watch now. Open stance. Don't grip the club too tight. Open the club face up. There you go. Here, try that one in. Hey, come on, Eddie. I was on Eddie. Now, that wasn't that hard to do, was it? I mean, it's, it's, a, it's an easy shot from here. But people make it hard, you know? They think too much about it. And there are just certain ways that you play this shot. And what I'm saying to you is, you have a routine in the bunker. You walk into your bunker, you have a look at what you've got in front of you. You have a look at the sand, and sometimes you can have this. I'll show you a couple of bad lies how we'll get out of it. But generally, we have a nice lie, certain things you do. You open the club face up, you open your stance up, you grip the club, you don't grip it too tightly, and you just keep the club moving. Now, obviously, it's a shot that you need to practice because, uh, I mean, practice makes perfect, but it doesn't matter how much you practice it if you have the wrong setup and the wrong the wrong idea of how you're going to play the shot, you'll never be able to play it. So all I'm saying to you is just check your stance when you get into a bunker. Have a look at what you've got to do. Open the club face up and don't grip it too tight. And just keep the club moving. Now, I've got to put somebody in just to play a shot for me. We move on to another shot. Who's going to volunteer and play a bunker shot?
Okay. Yeah, I'll get somebody else. I practiced it on my own. That's exactly what you're doing now. Did you get that? Yeah, John. Top pack. That the club is going to bounce more. Okay. That makes sense, wouldn't it? Obviously, if it's deeper, it's, it's not going to bounce so much. If it's harder, it's going to bounce. It's like you're playing a shot off hard pad, the club will bounce. So, what I would do is, when I'm playing the shot, I would sort of allow think that this is going to come out livelier than something that has a lot of sand. Okay. So, I'm not going to hit it as hard. Okay. It's going to, it's, so, this time of the year, the balls come out of bunkers quicker because they're tightly packed. What? No, no. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I mean, I would say that the distance from the ball, I'd always, I wouldn't vary whatsoever. The only time I would try and hit the ball a bit further back from the ball is if I wanted to hit it at the top spin. But if I want to get it in there and try and sort of spin it, I get it as tight. to the ball as I can. Now if I play if I play a shot and I play it there I hit it in sort of half an inch from the ball. If I play it say an inch back from the ball it will come out and it'll come out with more top spin. So if the flag was further back I'd play it like this watch. I'm putting, I'm putting a lot more effort into it to play it shot. There was no need to have to do it like that, you know? But the further back you hit the ball, the more it comes out with top spin. The closer you get into the ball, the more spin you're going to get. Yeah. Fluffy sand, um, fluffy sand, if you're getting very, very light sand, same type of principle. Fluffy sand, you have to be able to, that's where I'm talking about you have to get the, uh, the ball or the club to hit the sand back here. If I play this now, it's going to pop the sand there. If I get the leading edge in too, too uh, close to the ball, get that shot. Okay? Now, if the sand is very soft, I really concentrate on getting that back edge that sand first. Yeah. But, well, it, that's quite heavy now, that sand. It's more like, it's more like builder sand. No, I'm not saying that at all. What I'm saying is, Paddy, is if the sand is soft like that and heavy, the one thing I don't want to do that leading edge in there first. If the sand is real tight like this, you get away with hitting it more there. You might get a great shot, but you get away with it. If the sand is heavy and fluffy, you won't get away with it if the front edge catches the ball first. So what I'm saying to you is, if you've got heavy sand, really try and get to bounce the club into the sand. And the back edge is catching first. Yeah, I understand that. How, how exactly are you doing that? Yeah, how do you do that? Yeah. Okay, well, well, what I'm thinking of is, I open the club place up more. Yeah. By opening it up more, I'm putting more bounce on the club.